Hello, you guys. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. Um, today, I'm going to do a read for you guys for... Um, this is something that I have to cover. So, it's the title of it is going to be, be Generational Curses. Okay? So, I have to cover this, you guys. So, I was going to get y'all some Define Masculine and Define Feminine videos up today. But, let's see what happens from here. Okay? Thank you, Spirit, Spirit, guys, Archangels, Angels of the Most High. Please give me the cards I need to see for this generational, generational curse um, reading. What is the information that I need to receive? Thank you, Spirit, Spirit, guys. The breakage of um, generational curses, you guys, leads to success. Okay? And once things... Okay, let me see right quick. Hold on. Okay, we got to cover this, okay? Because since since history, you guys, it's it's been curses put up on people's family, okay? And this this uh this thing here that they do, it is, um, it's through the bloodline, okay? So, say this here is my dad here, okay? And my dad, through his journey, he, he probably hurt a couple of people down here, okay? And over here on in this side of town. And he probably wasn't really um, able to cope with all that snow. So he probably used to rob people, okay? He probably used to steal, rob, whatever. Whatever he had to do to survive in this winter storm, he did it, okay? Or, you know, if if, if whatever he needed to, to fulfill his, his need at that time, he did it, okay? Let's just leave it like that. So... As he kept on on his journey, he probably met a young lady and had a baby with this young lady in this part of town. And then, you know, I'm using this for an example, y'all, because my daddy don't have no kid. Well, yeah, he do. Yeah, let's use him as an example. Okay. This, this daddy right here probably, you know, had a son, a daughter here in this town. Then they moved and then had, they kids had kids in this town, okay? So anyway, y'all, what I'm trying to get to is, is that generational curses is, okay, it goes in order. I mean, it goes in, so if this, if, if my forefather, okay, sixth father committed crimes, and pass it on down to his seed, whatever it was in his mind back here on this journey, could have affected some chemicals in his bloodstream or his bloodstream to where by the time that this son had kids, this son here was doing the same thing that this father was doing here. Okay. And then he, he or the mother, it don't matter whether it's the mother or the, daughter, or the father, okay? And so they have these generational curses put up on their life because they didn't know that they forefathers and their forefathers and forefathers probably killed people on their journey, probably was a mass murderer. This man right here probably killed all, all five of these people and left them out there in the desert. He could be a criminal or, a, I mean, a, a serial killer. We don't know. <laughs> Because we didn't get a chance to meet all those people in that generation. So listen, y'all. This is what we do know as human beings. We know that to live in upright is the way to go and not let your forefathers' bloodlines cause a curse upon your life to where you can't change or don't even have the, the dignity to call it truths. Because you haven't learned how to fly yet, okay? Now listen, because 
these ducks on here, it's the same thing, y'all. Generation after generation after generation after generation. So if this bird fights all the time, okay, and then he go, this this bird go have a, kid, a baby, it's pretty, it's pretty probably, it's pretty probably 50% chance that, that, that his baby going to be just like him because the baby looks and sees everything that is going on around them. Okay. But now hold up though. Okay. Because we have a nest here and it looked like everybody's in this house. But then there's one little birdie over here that is looking as if they've been betrayed. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, that little birdie looked like it's been betrayed. And they don't feel like part of this group probably. So, like, just like in the Bible, when that that brother or that that whoever that was got got jealous of they they sibling, and had to try to crucify them. It's it's it's, it's a generational curse that people's minds, okay, inside of their minds, is thinking these things, but it's really not this person thinking these things. It's their generation. Before generation, before generation, before generation. If if my uncle, if if say say this, if my uncle was 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 a, a, a murderer, okay, and he had sons, and the same lifestyle that he was living when he committed that murder, and he's still doing the same thing, I guarantee you that that child is gonna grow up to be a murderer too, because the child sees what 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 this person does, okay. Now, some kids can just be disobedient and just want to just venture off on, into their own little world, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that, that that child is, you know, something's wrong with that child. That child is just lost. It, it needs to feel comfortable with being over here with everybody else, okay? And, I mean, us as parents, all we can do is try to, you know, make our children feel wanted and cared for, okay? But what we got to do is break generational curses, y'all, first, in order for us to heal this path that we went through. If our life, if our path wasn't corrected or correct, we got to, you know, make sure that our children at least can go on the right path in their life. You know, cause I know, I know like, like my, my, my family, you know, and I really don't, I was supposed to cover this, this read, like, I don't know how long ago it was, but it was a minute ago. But then I, you know, I had to reevaluate like how my family would feel about me talking about my story. <laughs> and there's other people involved that I may affect with my story. So to sweep things under the rug, uh, uh, uh. Y'all got to stop doing that, okay? You don't have to make it all public and stuff like that, but y'all can get get into a session and, and, and discuss what it is that, that's causing y'all's family turmoil or, or causing this person to act in such a behavior. Like, like my brother, I'd be like, I don't know where he get that stuff from. Like he 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 likes to, he, well, I can see where he get it from because I like that, but I ain't like him though. I like to be out of nature, but I don't like to be out of nature like that. Okay. Now, unless we change some of the things that we had to go through in our past, okay, our thoughts is what we become, okay? And we, we can't have success with even letting the devil come in and manipulate our mind 
okay? Because our forefather's mind was manipulated into doing what he did back here, which was probably murder about 10 people down here, okay? And then he moved on his path and then he had children. And then now in that child's mind, because of the mental state that their father or their mother was in, is also carrying the burden of that generational curse, okay? So once we fix what our inner self is feeling and thinking, especially if it's bad, y'all, okay? If y'all having thoughts of molestation, murder, adultery, theft, any, any robbery, y'all have got to fix that. And until you fix that inner self, them curses just going to keep going and 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 going. I see people all up here. Okay. Some of these people have made it up to heaven though, because they chose to make a truth with they self and admit to what was going on around them. Okay. Let's solve a problem so that we can get rid of this generational curse so that we can have abundance. Okay. That abundance shouldn't come in in reverse. And if everybody over here is treating each other kind with truths, because when you call truths, then everybody's able to flourish and grow. Okay. Then you become abundant and you have abundance because nothing is swept up under the rug, y'all. There are so many people that, 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 that I know that is suffering so bad from their past and they just holding on to it. Okay, these people are really like term. They hurt. They they hurting themselves. They killing themselves. They really, really, really killing themselves because they got too much pride in them to call the truth and say, you know what? I messed up in my past. I forgive you. I need to try to break this generational curse. Cause guess what? My father back here, he killed about ten people, and he never apologized to them people. So guess what? It rubbed, that bad karma rubbed off on me and my bloodline. And now I'm out here doing the same thing that my forefather was doing. Okay? I had to catch myself, y'all, because I seen myself going in a direction, the same direction as my mother. Drinking. You know, letting my kids talk to me any kind of way. Just being disrespectful. Because... At the time of me going through my journey and trying to get to success, I was still dealing with inner child conflicts. Yeah, I took care of my kids, but did I take care of the inner side of me? No, I didn't. I, because I couldn't. There was no way I could take care of myself when I had one, two, three, four, five, five other chickens to take care of and feed and stuff and make sure that they were safe. Ain't no way I could have been able to. But the universe gave me another opportunity, y'all. Okay? They said, Miss Carter, we're going to give you another opportunity to go ahead and uh, forgive yourself, first of all. Okay? So that you can come and, and get this success that we, we want for you to do and this to have and this abundance. Because you've been you've been taking yourself through turmoil a lot here, Miss Carter. And we want you to call the troops, okay? And they want me to get my son in order, probably. My son is a water sign. Listen. I don't know why the son of water is here, but this is what I can say about this child, okay? And I, you know what, y'all? I talk to my son all the time. I'll be like, Ron, you know, I want you to um, get your, you know, your PhD. I mean, get your, your degrees and stuff if you feel like going back to school. Because my son is intelligent. Actually, my son is an emperor. He's a, a emperor. And his his sons are star seeds. So, really, my son is a king, but he got some straightening out that he got to do, okay? Now, somebody's mother of earth is here, and they're probably trying to 
prevent this child from having an explosion or exploration. You know, this this person wants to see this person shine. Okay, this person, this mother, this mother of earth probably wants to see this son of water, which is probably their grandchildren. This is probably a grandchild of somebody's. They want to see him soar, you know. And generational curses, you know, my son know about generational curses. <laughs> He very smart. And he knows that unless he break them, that, you know, he's going to continue to stand in oppression. Or we going to continue to stand in oppression. He's a good father, though. I don't know about, you know. You know. Him ever really having anybody to look up to when he was growing up, you know. Because his dad, you know, his dad wasn't there a lot. So, you know, but I, I tried to be as patient with my son as I possibly could. I tried to, you know, give him to get here. You want to drink of this, this, uh, this, um, this pure water that's going to heal the inside of your soul so that you can be okay and be abundant and have blessings and success and get out of this turmoil, turmoil that you're in and, and, you know, change your life around and get, get things together and get them to moving. Because you got people praying for you. His grandmother's probably our earth sign. But yeah, y'all. Y'all gotta y'all gotta get out of this bad luck, this bad luck curses that people try to put up on your family, okay? People will try to go and put put uh curses on people to where their money, their stocks and their bonds is messed up, their money is messed up. And these people really don't know that that's around y'all that's being deceptive that it that you know, it this stuff doesn't pay off. If you're trying to manifest something in the wrong way, it's not going to pay off. Okay, because it's deception. It's got a deception around it. What is this deception? What is this deception? Huh. It's like bees and honey. That's what they said. Mm. Now, I don't know what that is over here, but that looked like some fruit to me. I'm just going to give me some fruit, y'all. Every time I see fruit, I be like, oh, that look like some good old grapes hanging from me. It sure is. That's some good old grapes hanging from the, 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 the grapevine. But all money ain't good money, though. Because I see some stuff going on down here that look like it's rotten in the way. Okay. And then, you know, you can't have a rotten tree growing grapes that is supposed to, you know, grow. It look dry to me. Anyway... They say work without reward is is no good. So I don't know who that's for. But this is what I do know. That if you don't break the generational curse, okay, because somebody in your family was being deceptive, okay, and taught you as a child or as a young adult to do things that may cause an explosion. Okay. It's up to you to choose, especially if y'all are adults, whether you want this wealth, 
and this abundance and this success. Okay. And y'all got to be patient with y'all self. Okay. So that y'all can manifest what it is that God has for y'all to manifest. I see my son in a three-piece suit. I told him the other day, I said, look, boy. I said, are you a professional or are you a gangbanger? Which one is it? I said, because if you're a professional, you need to be dressing in a professional. I said, your daddy ain't never walking around taking care of business unless he was in a suit. I said, you flashy. That's not cute. That shit for TV. And you ain't on TV yet, nigga. And if you do get on TV, I hope you in a three-piece suit, not no uh, fake shit, you know, sitting up letting them know, you know, this man look like he prophesizing somebody. He look like he trying to manifest, telling somebody what they can do to invest all this stock down here, okay? Because this man is intelligent. He said, when I throw my hands up, guess what? I'm going to invent this. I'm going to invent Purox. I'm going to invent Botox. I'm going to have, I'm going to invent Facebook. I'm going to even invent tw Twitter. I'm going to invent Fox News Channel. I'm going to invent CNN Channel. Hell, I might even go buy me a couple of pieces of property down here. Okay? Shit, I might even start selling water like 50 Cent did. This is how I want to see my son because he got the mindset to do it. But we all got to release generational curses, okay, that has tormented us for a long time, okay, in order to get to this wealth, we got to call a truce with that demon, okay, because that's what it is, that demon that, that demon that our forefathers and our forefathers and our forefathers fifth gave us, we got to get rid of that, y'all. Because it, it's not going to do nothing but, but uh, cause us harm. Okay? So once we break generational curses, then we don't have to worry about um, not being successful or being wealthy. Um... That's just like with my girls, you know, their actions, um, you know what, y'all, when I, when my girls was little, let me tell y'all what, what happened, okay, when my girls was little, I never, thank you, spirit, spirit, God, like angels, angels of the most high, please me because I need to see, I never really let my kids go out, because my little girls, I never, you know, I kept them in the house um, because of the simple fact is that I didn't want them to get hurt like I got hurt, okay, when I was a young child. I didn't let them go spend the night at relative's house. I didn't let them go, you know, because I, I, I was, you know, trying to end something and making sure that my kids was stable, you know. And it, it really didn't, that, that's not what I should have been doing, okay? I wanted to make sure that my kids didn't get hurt and that they would, they would continue to have joy in their life or whatever. But there were some things that was going around, on around me that wasn't stable, Okay. As far as me drinking, as far as me probably selling drugs in my past. So I had to put an end into this in order to get this joy, okay, that I'm I was seeking. And I had to release that darkness that I, lived, that I was living in so that I could come up to the top of this water and, and be able to breathe again. And so now that I've done that and I've buried my skeletons, no. They say hiding them skeletons in the closet. I, ain't, I don't hide no skeletons in the closet now. Now listen, because you see, if, when you hiding them skeletons in that closet, 
then and then you turn that light off and then those spider webs start getting on, on that skeleton and then you know you, you you're not gonna be able to grow like the flower that you are so uh-uh you gotta pull them skeletons out and deal with them skeletons tell them skeletons to get the hell on away from y'all okay Somebody's needing to call truths to something because they want they want to be stable. What is this, Joy? They want to be stable. I, I know I want to be stable. <laughs> you know. Sometimes. Okay, wait, let me finish telling you about the girls. So the girls, you know, they they I never let them go out. And I, I think that, you know, by me keeping them confined, like as if they was in a penitentiary in the house instead of them instead of letting them like meet people it caused a, a train chain reaction what i thought was the best thing for them was not okay because once they got out of this um Well, you know what? If somebody want to say toxic or whatever, because I mean, I did my my life wasn't good. I mean, I ain't trying to sit up here and like I'm perfect. There was a lot of things that I had to defeat and I, I had to put to death, and and so that I can have this joy and this ability that I need. So, but but I mean, it's being released. So so somebody's releasing it. Somebody about to be somebody about to call truths with this shit and be like, you know what? This ain't for. I'm, I'm about to do something else, honey. <laughs> okay, because that shit there ain't gonna do nothing but cause me a tower moment in my life, and I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> Some that's what somebody said. <laughs> I ain't got the patience. I ain't got the time. Okay. This person wants to get to abundance. They like I'll be damned if somebody block my abundance. Okay. Anybody, a father of air, <laughs> get in my way. And the reason why, you know, because I want to have good fortune, y'all. And listen, these reads be resonating with me. So if I talk with however I talk, then listen, y'all go ahead and, and take it however y'all want to take it. Okay. Because, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. If I'm if I'm talking and I'm talking to whatever energy that's coming out or whatever I say, it's it is what it is. Okay? Cause these secrets here. You know, listen, y'all. Y'all cannot continue to sweep things under the rug and pretend like things are not okay that things are okay and they're not okay okay um if i was raped as a child at the age of six by my babysitter then again at the age of 16 or 15 then there's a problem there okay and you know, the black community, I know that, you, you know, a lot of these parents back in the 70s, or 80s, you know, they didn't have money to buy them, them babies, no, no kind of insurance to get, get them, um, get them, um, the help that they needed, y'all. Okay. So, you know, if we deal with it with with it with our inner conflicts and try to heal some of our past hurts and pains that we went through as children, then we'll be able to open ourselves up to God to work. Because he's he like, you know what, you gotta go all the way back to where you was three and you got hurt and you need to forgive yourself because you're holding that in and you can't keep holding that in, Miss Carter, because guess what? The more you hold it in, you need to release it so that other people can hear your testimony. And they be telling me all kind of stuff. And I'd be like, okay, well, I'll just tell them what I said. Tell them, tell them what, what I need to tell them. I'm going to heal my wounds, though. Okay? And listen, y'all, I'm not even going to sit up here and lie. It's taken me, it's been taking, taking me a minute to get to, to this perfection. 
you know, I mean, I want to, I want to think that I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing in life and, and be able to manifest things that I want in my life because I don't want a tower moment to happen in my life. Okay. My dad, you know, he wasn't really there. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have much. We was poor y'all. We had, when I was a little girl, we had to get up in the morning at like four o'clock in the morning as little kids. This was me y'all. Let me share this with y'all. In the morning, we would get up, get dressed. Mama would do our hair. She let us go play a little. No, she didn't let us play. Cause see, I think it was Monday through Monday through Friday. These kids got to go outside and play. But when I was growing up, at the age of this, this me, Dolly, get your butt over here. That's what my mom's saying. Get over here, Dolly. Cause I was the baby. But anyway, y'all. This, this, I was this old jumping in trash cans, okay, to get the cans out of there so that we could feed our family. And then my uncle would get jobs where buildings would get torn down and we would take the bricks off the building and, and get this little chisel saw and, and clean them and um, stack them. And then, you know, my uncle would get money for that as a child. That's what I did. I didn't get to go play in the rain. I mean, I probably did play in the rain. I loved playing in the rain, but I didn't get to. They, they, they look like they at the park or something. I didn't get to do that, you know. And as I got older, you know, I seen a lot of violence and stuff in my in my energy, and 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 me as a mother, you know, some of the things that I saw my mom doing, I I picked up, and then it made a cause some kind of confusion with my kids. And they probably a little bit disturbed because if my mom was disturbed a little bit and was drinking, then and I started drinking and was disturbed, then you know my kids gonna start drinking and maybe disturbed. And so unless we break the curse that has been put up on our family, so that we can get to this joyful time and this happiness. It ain't never too late. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. It's never too late. To fix this tower moment. So that you can get to abundance. And break the curses that your forefathers had. Okay. And go ahead and manifest whatever it is that we need to manifest in life. Okay, y'all. Because they guarantee us good fortune. Okay. Heal things that y'all got to heal. Like, just like my son. I, I told my, he, he, he told me, he said, Mama, I think I'm, I think they, I think they tried to put a curse on me. I said, they probably did, Ronnie. I said, because, you know, if you going repeatedly through changes in life and you just can't figure out why you're doing that, it could be a possibility that somebody did put a curse on you or you just cursed from your generations before. <laughs> Come on now. God didn't put us on this earth for us to keep going through turmoil after turmoil after turmoil after turmoil. Well, when you going to wake up? Well, when you going to wake up? No. I'm going to wake up when I deal with my inner child conflicts that I'm having. Because my son probably have to deal with, you know, when he was growing up, he had to deal with Ronnie. Watch the, watch the baby. Watch watch Jazzle for me while I run to the store. Or watch the girls for me. He, he, he be like, you know, 